Yo, what are you saying? It's a boy, Mars Traps, back again with another video. And in this context, I don't even think I can say another video. It's the first story time going on this channel. So, let's say, Yo, what are you saying? It's a boy, Mars Traps, and I'm here with a new segment on our channel called Story Time. And as you can tell from today's title, today's story time is going to be about facing up to your bullies. So everybody's had a run-in with bullies I would guess. I guess in this scenario it takes me all the way back to primary school when I was about in year 4. So I think we're about 6-7 years old and everything's all fun in games and fights till somebody actually gets hurt. Yeah, so where the story takes place is on the playground really and truly. So for the purpose of keeping people safe in this video we're going to be using fake names so let's say my friend's name was Jay. Alright, me and Jay, we both we both like Pokemon, let's say. And we both, you know, had fun talking about it. And out of all of the reasons for people to get insulted or bullied back in primary school for some reason, I guess you'd be like cartoons, which you should be be actually able to enjoy at your age. Cartoons and Pokemon games was like a reason for people to just, you know, smirk at you. For some reason I didn't even understand because most of the people when they were going home, they are probably watching, you know, Ben 10 or Bakuman. And really and truly, those were cartoons. But nevertheless, people picked on Jay for it. Obviously, she didn't really do much. She, she mostly ignored them, but at the same time, some of the insults really did get to her. And she would cry at sometimes. So where this story takes place is at lunchtime on one of those days. So obviously now, me and her were out there with our Pokemon trading cards. I couldn't really say ours because I never really had the money to buy trading cards back then. So it would actually be the cards that sometimes <laughs> either I would find or sometimes that she would lend me to the point that she would forgot she lent it to me and I would just claim it as my own. But in this scenario me and Jay we were somewhat battling with those cards and let's call the bully in this situation Kevin. So Kevin comes along and he takes her cards and he rips them. Always now, we're both in the situation that she's thinking, like, she's crying because the guy ripped up her Pokemon cards. And I'm just there uh, dumbfounded, thinking, did this guy actually come over and, do, you know, destroy her property? So the first thing I did was go to a teacher. And, you know, man's not really a snake or a snitch, but that should be the first thing you should do in that situation. And the teacher did come over and Kevin was acting like he didn't do anything and that she was just making it up. And not really gonna lie, um, Jay, she did kind of not really make things up, but she did escalate some situations, you know, further than it was meant to be. For example, there was meant to be a class trip one day, but uh, the coach got cancelled at the last second. So nobody could really go on the class trip and she started breaking out in tears and she dropped on the floor. So she was known to be overly dramatic so the teacher you know took the bully's word for it and it went off. Obviously I wasn't really I wasn't really having that. I wasn't up for that type of situation uh, but he, he was with the teacher now there was nothing that we could do. So the next day rolls around and I was able to sneak my Game Boy into school and usually we're not allowed to have any form of technology with us and bear in mind we are still in primary school so we're not allowed to have any form of technology with us <laughs> in primary school so me and Jay um, she had the old Nintendo DS that still had the Game Boy cartridge inside while I brought a solid Game Boy that was my older sister's at the time into school so we're there playing at lunch Pokemon and I believe it was Ruby. She was playing Ruby and I was playing Sapphire. So we were both playing, enjoying ourselves. She was showing me the different methods how to catch certain Pokemons. And it really truly it was it was a calm time that we we're having at lunch. And you know, Kevin comes strolling down. So after Kevin comes in, we all know what's gonna happen. Um I quickly put my Game Boy away. And yeah, that may have been a bitch move, but at the end of the day, my Game Boy was still safe. But Jay, she couldn't really put her Game Boy away in time for him to see. So what does he do? He takes the, not even the Game Boy, he takes the DS, and instead of just smashing it, 
he yanks the game out of the cartridge and usually for Game Boy games that corrupts the, the game if it doesn't corrupt the game it corrupts your game, your game saved file and that's what actually happened in this situation that we'll find out later so the fact that he yanked it out then he threw the DS on the floor like the DS wasn't broken which was good and in this situation Jay started crying again so I remember myself being so full of rage I just blacked out really and truly but I do remember giving him you know a quick one too not really a quick one too but I did remember face banging the guy and the next thing I noticed that there was blood all over my hands and there was Kevin had like full bloody nose his white shirt was all blooded and the teacher was coming and running over so after that I got sent to the principal's office and the principal really and truly just sent me to the first aid's, first aid's office because she just thought that I was done to hurt myself because I had blood on me and I had blood on my knuckles so from there we had to explain the situation Finally enough, Kevin didn't actually get in trouble for what he did, but in fact, we were the ones who got in trouble because we're the ones who brought our game stations into school that day. So, I, luckily enough, because they didn't really see me, they didn't really take my uh, my Game Boy, and I was able to take it home and put it so my sister wouldn't know that I took it. But um, Jay wasn't so lucky. They took her DS and her mum had to get it the next day. But even throughout that, I did get sent home because of it. I'm not really sure who came to pick me up. It was probably my brother or if not, my mum. To be honest, I quite think it was my brother who came to pick me up. And I explained the situation and he said, you shouldn't have really handled it like that. But at the end of the day, you're still stuck up for your friend. So I got home, I laid down and I rested. The next day when we came to school, Kevin really wasn't talking to us anymore because everybody in the whole playground saw that I clearly forgot that I did actually injure him and since then Kevin really hasn't been saying anything much and Kevin if you're listening to this and you know your name not Kevin but for the purpose of this video it is we're still cool so moral of the story Kids don't take your Nintendo DS to school or your Game Boys to school and bullies, they don't need to bully somebody who likes Pokemon really and truly, it's a cool game and the real moral of the story is don't bully somebody who plays Pokemon because they're a nice friend who sticks, who stays by their side will end up decking you. This has been my first story time on this channel and I'll see you in the next one, in a bit.